Welcome to Learning with Philemon. In this video, we will be looking at how absorption and emission spectra are made. In previous videos, we have seen that electrons occupy orbitals in different principal energy levels. In this video, we will be focusing only on the energy levels, not the orbitals. Energy levels are discrete, not continuous. This means that they have specific energy values. They cannot have any value. In other words, electrons need to be in one of these energy levels, not anywhere in between. For electrons to move to a higher energy level, they need to absorb light with an energy equal to the energy difference between the two energy levels. If they absorb any less energy, they cannot make it to the next energy level. To understand absorption and emission spectra, we need to have a basic understanding of light. Visible light consists of different colors with different wavelengths. Here we see the full spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. This equation helps us understand the relationship between energy and wavelength. Energy, E, is equal to Planck's constant, H, multiplied by the speed of light, C, divided by the wavelength, lambda. The larger the value of the wavelength, the larger the denominator, so the smaller the value of E. Red light has a long wavelength, and therefore a low energy. Violet light has a short wavelength, and therefore a high energy. This particular absorption spectrum belongs to the element hydrogen. If visible light is shone upon hydrogen atoms, the electrons will absorb specific wavelengths of light to transition to a higher energy level. In the case of hydrogen, red light can be absorbed for the transition between energy levels 2 to 3. Light blue is absorbed for the transition between energy levels 2 to 4. Dark blue is absorbed for the transition between energy levels 2 to 5. And finally, violet light is absorbed for the transition between energy levels 2 to 6. Note that there are black lines in the spectrum where these colors used to be. This is because only these four colors are absorbed. The rest of the colors would go through the sample of hydrogen and be detected. Electrons could transition from the first energy level to higher energy levels, but this energy is not in the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Note that the gap between the energy levels decreases as the energy increases. This is described as the energy levels converging at higher energy. This is also evident in the absorption spectrum, as the lines are closer together as the energy increases. In the diagram, only six energy levels are included, although there are more. The last line is labeled as infinite. If an electron absorbs energy to reach this point, it means it has left the atom. This is called ionization and will be discussed in the bonding and periodicity playlists. Emission spectra are very similar to absorption spectra. Electrons that have gained energy and transitioned to a higher energy level are called excited electrons. These electrons relax and transition back into a lower energy level. In doing so, they emit light of a certain energy that can be detected. As can be seen, the transitions are the same, but in the opposite direction, so the colors are the same. red light blue, dark blue, and violet. This has interesting real-life applications. Neon lights can contain different noble gases, such as neon. Energy in the form of electricity excites electrons in the atoms to higher energy levels. When the electrons relax, they emit colored light. Depending on the element used, the color will differ. Neon lights are used as signs for stores. Although hydrogen is shown here as an example, the energy of different energy levels actually differs between different elements. So the transition from n equals 3 to n equals 2 will give off a different color depending on the element. On this website, we can see the emission spectra of different elements, hydrogen, helium, lithium, and beryllium. Note that the colors and the amounts of transitions possible differ between each element make sure to check out the links in the description to explore different emission spectra. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Stay curious.